and we would we would take soil samples. We would remediate the actual soil, groundwater, as well as soil vapor. Um, so that's where I gained my experience collecting soil vapor samples with using SUMA canisters, and and that's essentially uh, where I came up with the idea to use this in conjunction with trying to find uh, Kristen Smart. I met Kristen back in uh, May 3rd, 1996. She just happened to come by our house on Mill Street to use the phone. Um, it was just a by chance meeting and it was very short. Um, but weeks later, as we all know, she went missing. And uh, that was really, uh, had, a, had quite a mark on, on my friends and I, my roommates. And anyways, as the years progressed and the, the decades went on and she was still missing, um, at, at some point in end of 19, I'm sorry, 2019, um, I, I was in my office thinking, how, how could I help? You know, what, what could I do? And how could I use my skill set to, to help the family? So he was talking to me about this project that he had in Roy Grande, um, where they wanted to look, he was interested in looking for uh, cadaver compounds in soil gas samples. First of all, I thought this is what somebody should do. <laughs> this is what they should do. And then it was sort of like, well, who's, who's going to do that? Or who can I enlist to do that? And, and it quickly realized that I was going to do it. Soil gas has a special tip on it and everything, which we then is inserted into the ground. The tubing is connected to the front of our sampler. So we have the tubing connected to the front of the sampler. Then what we do is we first will connect another can over here with vacuum. So we will purge the tubing so we can purge out any dead volume. Then once it's been flushed, we close the valve here, open the canister valve, and then we have air being pulled through a flow restrictor that limits the flow so we don't pull all the air at once, and then the air flows into the canister. This takes about 30 minutes, and then after a 30 minute period, the canister is closed, all of this is disconnected, and then the sample is sent back to the lab. There were a couple of articles I found that originated at the Tennessee Body Farm, and one of the articles uh, had a list, a table prepared by the author, of a list of about 50 BOC compounds that they uh, consistently found in cadaver samples. So we went ahead and started, took that list and then made up our list from their list so that we had a list of typical BOCs that others have identified uh, from decomposition. So we worked together and uh, that's when we uh, got access to Marsha Papage's property because just based on a lot of circumstantial evidence and things that we had heard, there was reason that I felt <clears throat> that the family, the smart family, myself and the community just really wanted, needed to know if there was something in that backyard. When I, we went ahead and put in the probes, collected the samples, and then when I analyzed them, I was actually surprised to find that we had a de uh, detections for um, a large number of the compounds in the 50 compound list, something like 30 of the 50 compounds we were able to find in the probes that were close to the fence. Like, like Steve tells you that's, that there's something interesting in the chemistry that, that, that got me excited. We were able to take this data and um, and send it to actually another PhD, uh, environmental engineer, and, and had them computer model. Um, and that's where we got these plume maps that are very compelling, I would say. And based off of the, the chemicals, the chemistry, it, it indicates that there's a human decomposition events um, right there along the property line. We you know, have the support of the Smart family, obviously, their intentions are to, to find their daughters, so anything that's going to, to help aid that, I think um, they're 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 in support of. And so so yeah, we, we have 
uh, had the opportunity to sit down uh, in a number of occasions and share. We, we put a report together, um, and at, at this point, um, they're, they're looking into it, I believe.